Noobcast. Greetings, fellow noobs! Well, that was a little obnoxious. <laughs> Welcome to Noobcast. I am Blomus. This is a PVZ. We are on the Shattered Temple, and our contestants this afternoon in the orange zerg is soundwave welcome to noobcast soundwave but you have not been here before but that's okay you didn't uh you didn't submit this verm did verm and the purple protoss pieces so we here we are this is a practice game some kind of custom game obviously because of the colors it's so pretty i love this purple it's so rich and just, it's royal and delicious. It makes me want to eat the probes. I want to like snack on them like M&M's. Nom, nom, nom. Orange, my favorite color to play with. Big fan of Le Orange. Welcome to Noobcast. If you're unfamiliar, we are all about shining the light of esports on non-pro players. And by non-pro, I mean noobs. And let's face it, if you're not pro, you're noob to somebody. <laughs> you may not be a noob to me. You might be able to kick my butt up and down the ladder, but somebody, to somebody, you are a noob. Verm, doing a Forge Fast Expand on Shattered Temple. I haven't seen this on this map in a very long time, uh, mostly because this is a very wide opening, and this is a very odd way to build this. Getting the fast hatchery is Soundwave. Um, and a lot of times what Zergs will do if they see this strategy is they will immediately drop a third hatchery. And that's a very smart thing to do if you're not considering putting a ton of pressure on your opponent right away. And there's the cannon. We're going to see the gateway as well. This dude needs to get out of dodge unless he wants to die. And that's Stargirl sneaking her head in and running away. That was the door slamming behind her. The Nexus is down for Worm. Getting another pylon. Very interesting. This is not, obviously, and again, this is a silver level. I don't know if I said that already. Uh, so we're not looking for perfect play. <laughs> um, we're seeing the spawning pool finish for uh, Soundwave. Soundwave, if you're unfamiliar, is the, uh, the master of technology for the Decepticons and the Transformers. Oh, yeah. Hello, Stargirl. Can I help you with something, my dear? You bit your tongue? Oh, no. See, I'm not even sure if this is a good wall off because I think Zerglings can sneak right by there. How, Blomus? Uh, by running. By running? Yep, running on by. What are you uh, doing out there? Are you watching Shrek? Yeah, and it's over. Oh, are you going to watch... Puss in Boots, or are you going to watch something else now? Puss in Boots is already over. Oh. Alright, well, have fun doing whatever it is you're doing. Blumus, I want to tell you one more thing. Okay, tell me one more thing. Hurry up. You, if, and when you're done with this new cast, you can come out and check me out. Oh, alright. Very good. Bye, Blumus. See you in a bit, honey. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, humans. Oh, I love that kid. She's awesome. <laughs> See you later, humans. <laughs> As opposed to aliens, I guess. As opposed to zerglings. Anyway, what's going on in this game? Uh, very slow opening. Actually, you know what? I'm going to speed it up because if these guys are going to macro up then end a silver game, we're just going to take the opportunity to go ahead and push this game a little bit. We only have three gates from Worm. 
Uh, not a ton of tech going down here for Soundwave. He's already got his lair finished. He's got a Roach Warren. He's getting Roach Speed. And he's already got his spawning pull up. We got we got gas going on. Uh, Stargate down for Worm. Getting out some Phoenix, which is always uh, not a bad play on this map. Because usually you expect your Zerg opponent to go for Spire. I don't see a Spire, but he's already got Spore Crawler, so he is expecting Worm to go air. Verm. He's expecting the Verm to go air. More gateways. Twilight Council. More gateways. This will be six gateways for Worm. Pretty standard on two bases. Uh, you can get eight, but he's got a Stargate, so you need to allow for that. Checking the third, not seeing any. Roaches knocking down rocks, wants to expand. Um, more phoenixes being popped. Templar Archives down for Worm. Vum. Templar Archives. Lots. He's got four phoenix. I think he is... Why is he... Why? See, now I'm kind of getting suspicious of Soundwave. Why would he make a Hydra Den? Has he scouted anything? No, he hasn't seen anything. He hasn't scouted anything. And yet, he is doing all kinds of things here. Um, I mean, some people go Roach Hydra. Stupid people go Roach Hydra against Protoss. But to have already gotten up Spore Crawlers, to have already gotten out Hydras, this makes me extremely suspicious. Because Roach Hydra is so very rare. Extremely rare. But maybe not in silver. That's, that's going to be uh, Soundwave's saving grace here to make me convince me that he's not map hacking. Um, because he has definitely not seen anything of what worm has done lots of templar out is getting storm not getting storm not making any more phoenix either so he's being wise and staying away from phoenix look see again hydras stay home roaches move out this is like classic classic hack and s no stalkers look at this we're going mostly zealots with some templar and some archons Interesting. Zealot Archon. I like it. I like it. Zealot's gonna tank. These rocks are going down. He's gonna be able to go up here. Worm will be able to cancel that Nexus. In the meantime, Soundwave's expansion gets seen by the Phoenix. He does get a cancel. Soundwave gonna come down here and attack. Get your zealots out front, son. Archons will completely own if the zealots are tanking. We have Twilight Council. Did he get charge? Oh, oh my goodness. Roach has focused down the Archons. Uh, it's actually kind of smart, but the zealots are just completely decimating them. They're 1-1. One, one. The Roaches, plus two range. Oh, but this is problematic. Don't want to fight with Zealots in a... But now the Zealots are just going to come out and crush this Hydra army. They cannot escape because they're too slow. And they can't do fast enough DPS. So good on the Zealots. Good job, Worm. Good defense. Soundwave's third is down while forcing Verm to cancel his. Um, I'm guessing there's going to be a lull because that was basically a complete trade army-wise. So, so we're going to go right on back to X2 here. And look, Soundwave's still making Hydros. Okay, I am going to take back my previous potential accusation and say that Soundwave is not map hacking. He's just going he's just going Roach Zealot. 
I mean, he's just, <laughs> he's just going Roach Hydra. And, uh, look at this. Even food. More Roaches, more Hydras. We are plus two. Uh, no more upgrades for... Oh! Infestors are out. They have the Pathogen Gland upgrade, so um, it's going to be good for charging Zealots. They're going to be able to uh, do lots of damage to them, keep them from charging. Roaches will be able to pick them off very easily. And we've got Pylonning off the top. Uh, usually what you want to do is one or two pylons and then gateway across the top. Pylons are going to bust easy. Uh, no problem. And the gold is up for Worm. And uh, those of you who don't like the 2x, I apologize. It's just kind of a, it's a little bit of a long game. And I've been doing a lot of long games. And they're killer on my process. So many zealots. Oh my goodness. And if he gets them to 3-3, three, 3-3 three, three, three zealots are friggin' really really strong uh, especially if you don't have any carapace which is what we which is the situation here for Soundwave. he is not upgrading anything else he's only got one evo chamber he's getting plus three attack but when you're up against three three protoss you need to be you need to have the carapace because uh you're just going to get decimated and not only is that but verm is on four bases now three mining versus two mining bases of uh, the Zerg player. So, um, way ahead both in uh, every respect, Worm is, is dominating, though he is even behind in food count. And look at already 3-3 three, three and Soundwave not getting anything. So, and these Infestors are not going to be enough. He actually... Um, Ling's probably not the best thing to add. Probably wanted more Infestors. That's really what he needed to either <coughs> to to get more uh, fungals on the Zealots. And he's going to want, if he can fungal the Zealots, man, keep them from charging in and attacking, he can completely wreck this army. Um, back the Archons up! No! Oh, terrible engagement! Terrible engagement, Worm! Probably gonna win anyway because three three zealots are so stinking strong, and the archons just in the back. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Soundwave totally taking over. The fungals on the zealots were so good and so strong that they were not enough. And here come these units. Uh, it's not gonna be enough. Worm's gonna have to uh, back up, get protected. What is he doing? Immortals. He's going three Immortals at once. Um, this is a, a largely Hydra army here. This is not going to go well. If he gets those Immortals out, uh, he's basically just going to die. Now, getting the, the Zealots on these Hydras is going to be very good. And that's actually going to clean this up because the Roaches were not in the front. They were not tanking. And again, no Carapace for these guys. And Zealots, one-on-one, -on -one kill roaches every time, just like Stalkers. <coughs> Pardon me. But uh, Soundwave re-upping all Lings. Look at that. Um, Zerglings are going to do Jack Squiddle against uh, Zealots. So definitely need to um, be careful what you wish for here. But they're going to do very good against Immortals. We finally got a Carapace going, uh, upgrade going down. Not dropping any more Evolution Chambers is Soundwave. So relying on his uh, one Evolution Chamber for upgrades. And we're just massing Immortals right now. Which actually is a bad idea against this particular composition. Um, both of these guys have a ton of money saved. I think it's time to uh, get the zealots in there. Immort Don't show your immortals yet. Don't show your immortals yet. Losing a lot of probes here. You show those immortals, man. That's all he has to do is make zerglings. 
All he has to do is make Zerglings. Getting the Adrenal Gland upgrade. He does have Hive. Lots of Hydras coming out. Hydra Ling against Immortals will be perfect. Perfect. Sound we've long been since mining from the gold. And he's finally getting the level 2 Carapace up here. More Zealous Warping in for them. More Archons. This is a nice composition. It's a nice composition. Looks like a... Uh, Soundwave has a pretty healthy food lead, but he's not like he should be like over here. Should have another base, at least one more base. That's what I'd like to see from Soundwave. But he is just getting the gold now, where Worm is almost mined out of his gold, and he is making more probes. <coughs> he should be rallying his probes from all of his bases to the gold or to this third. This is silly. Look at where all your pylons are. They're in front of your building, so if he breaks these down, you're going to lose power to those. Looking around with the Zerglings, looking for a place to attack. Not finding anything. He's going to attack this gold, because that's the smart thing to do. Again, lots of Zealots, four worms. He gave his opponent an opportunity to catch up, though, so now he's plus two. No melee attack, though, so the Zerglings are going to suffer as a result. They're going to die very quickly. Can, huh, 26 damage, the Zergling has 35, okay, so two shots, oh, oh, and some Colossus out, and that's going to be the death knell for Worm, because he's basically got Zealot, uh, I mean, he's basically got Zergling, Hydra, and against Colossus, that is just bad news, plus Archons, yeah, Worm's going to move out. He's going to take this. He lost a lot of Zerglings there. And we got Flyer upgrades coming in. What is he making? Is he going to make some Mutalisks? He's got the money to do it. I mean, he's just completely boated up. Uh, Mutas would be amazing right now. He's making 38 Roaches, though. Oh, my goodness. Why? Why would you make Roaches? No, that was so bad. If you could make all those into Mutas, you would win. He doesn't have anything that shoots up except four Archons. Come on, Soundwave. Oh, my goodness. And you know what? This is what happens in Silver Level. This is the decision-making that just kills you. He just maxed out on Roaches, and this army is going to go die. It's exactly what's going to happen. There's too many Immortals for all these Roaches. And with the Colossus, they're just going to kill everything in the back. You needed to make Mutas or at least Corruptors. Uh, look at this, just mowing through this roach army. And once the roaches are dead, it is game over in a, in a fast, fast, and furious way. You're, uh, these are not going to help you, and this army is just going to go and crush. Zealots tank all the damage from the Hydras, and look at that, just crushing everything. How'd you rebuild that fast? He's got four robos and like 20 gateways. And you were maxed too, bro. And again, maxing out, on, trying to rematch with roaches. Bad idea. And it is economy. He did, he did a very good job. He did a very good job. But if you look, he's got four robos. He's got 12 gateways here. 16 gateways total, which is about what you want on uh, this late game, 4 base. He's also on 4 bases. And that's the end. Good game. By worm this is um one of those situations where unit composition man it was a good game Soundwave had this in his grasp all he has to do is make mutas or corruptors and he won this game like won it and wasn't even close how how what a raffle stop it would have been if he had gone after instead of making 38 roaches if he had made 30 mutalisks which he had the larva he had the money 
to make that much. He had like just the same kind of bank right here. We're looking at 100 to 100 for a Mutalisk. That's 30 Mutalisks off the bat. He would have owned, and all we had were Zealots, Immortals, Colossus, and like four to eight uh, Archons. If you focus the Archons, there's nothing left that can shoot you. My goodness, that would have been such a freaking raffle stomp. It would have been ugly. So Soundwave, you got nobody to blame but yourself. You knew the composition he had. I didn't like your composition from the beginning, though. Uh, any of you guys who are still doing uh, Roach Hydra against Protoss, stop. Just stop. You're better off going all Roach, no Hydras. Um, roaches are just freaking bestankulous. You know what I mean? All right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that game. I thought it was fun. Um, and watch your composition, Zerglis. Watch your composition. Keep climbing that ladder. Peace.